Representatives from AgStar presented Project Fine with a $2,500 check from the AgStar Fund for Rural America. Assistant Vice President of AgStar's Rural Capital Network, David Kruger, said the fund is for programs that support their mission of enhancing life and agriculture in America. It's a grant opportunity through our Fund for Rural America, which is our corporate giving program. Uh, today, this is a $2,500 grant uh, towards education of the youth and really uh, for uh, learning about food, to, food from the garden to the table and how that all works and uh, operates. And uh, part of our program uh, really is helping educate the youth and understand egg culture in general. Well, this is a program that we call Color for Growers. It is a program that is designed for uh, refugee and immigrant students to experience agriculture, business, and learn how to grow the food, that, and also how to you know, select and sell on the farmer markets, and healthy nutrition, how to eat healthy. We are very proud and grateful for this opportunity to start this program with Eggstar, and we are looking forward to continue with this program. This is a program that was designed and developed based on our youth that approach us and wanted to learn more about agriculture and growing vegetables and, and, and fru food for themselves as well as a little business development and how to sell on the farmer market. And because most of our refugees here in Winona are from Hmong background and most of them are agriculture, uh, in agriculture business and this way we kind of bringing our older generation that will be teaching our younger generation about, um, you know, seeds and what to plant, soil and everything else, but we do hope that this will program go and continue next year and for years to come. The Colorful Growers program is designed to provide youth with intensive hands-on business and gardening, gardening experience. It is also made possible the pro project through the Winona Community Foundation and the cooperation of Winona County.